moment voters burn their brooms as Tinubu drives through the crowd for a campaign in Castena. Some presidential candidates and their teams from various political parties are currently busy campaigning across the country ahead of the, the general elections in 2023. These candidates are running for office. On the other hand, in a recent video that is currently making waves across a number of social media platforms, a large number of Nigerians were seen lighting their brooms on fire as the presidential candidate of the APC, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, drove through the crowd in Kasuna State for a campaign event. It was also reported that the throng was chanting the name Atiku Abubakar. The remarks made by various members of social media are captured in the screenshots. Um, <laughs> it's funny because, you know, Kemi Filan blog states voters bro- burnt their brooms on Tinubu drove through the crowd for a campaign in Kasinda State chanting PDP article. That is very shameful. Um, and he is still waving at them. No wonder brooms are so expensive nowadays. You can literally buy anything. But I think it's very funny. I mean, this is very sad. Imagine, they, I mean, from the pictures that I can see here, they are burning their brooms, burning mats, whatever they're burning. And you see someone like Tinubu is still waving at them. I don't, I don't know. Isn't that obvious to say that you're not supported? I don't, I don't, I don't get how he's still smiling through it all. Um, yeah, that is that is crazy to be honest, and it's fun because they're chanting Atiku. So to be honest, when we look at the south on Middle Belt upwards, it's people say yes. There's Rabi Kwakwa and there's PDP um, Atiku. So the votes definitely will be split, and then you look at Tribu who may have a percentage, and also Pitabi who also have a percentage. But then you actually see that actually maybe the PDP are because in my opinion I feel like they're not as vocal or as um, obvious with their with their moves or the moves that they're making especially in the north and maybe they are really targeting the north because it is very surprising and you know maybe their campaign campaign team they're doing something in the north where they're like you know what ah makes sense i see i see these individuals are not one to talk a lot but they're actually make, getting things done we may actually be shocked with the turnout of these elections but again <clears throat> those supporting their presidential favorites you know put in the work and we'll see what happens um, looking at the comment section, uh, Samuel Adinoran underscore zero seven says, "It was a great mistake caused by the greed for Tinubu to have declared his intention to contest in the first place." <laughs> I mean, I cannot say I disagree with this comment, um, but I think the confidence that okay, I'm going to go to this state, obviously Casino State, and I'm going to you know have my whole my whole campaign and everything, and then. For your sign, I mean your literal identity, a broom, his party, being burnt and then people are shout, um, chanting a tickle. That is a red flag. I mean, they should be very worried because that is not a good flag at all. I mean, a lot of people do think that, you know, he would end up losing. And um, a lot of people do think, this man, you are just being greedy. And you know what? I am of the same opinion, to be honest. I think if we're really going to say not based on merit or competence or whatever moral standard you have, but in terms of the Nigerian corrupt, you know, political scene, it is safe to say this man is established. I mean, you know, do you know what I mean? So it's like, it's safe to say this man has done a lot of the things. I mean, he's out here, you know, being behind the scenes. I mean, don't you think it's more powerful for someone to be behind the scenes and, you know, make moves and put people in positions rather than having that, you know, I want to be there, I want to be obvious, I want to arrive, you know, it is my turn. So I feel like it then makes me question how he's, you know, this man must have been strategic then, you know, if this was, this must have been his aim in building his, um, his group for the fact that, you know, for so many years, I mean, since he was governor, he never really had any big political position, but he just remained so relevant. How do you do that? I mean, some people need to learn, but I think what else could you know um indicate his motivations apart from greed like literally what more do you want um even if apc represents article he will lose <laughs> i mean again apc and pdp as i said it's not a party that you look to and say oh wow that, that, no, no 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 that's honey that is not how it worked rejected rejected and rejected if not rejected because he polluted everything affliction shall not rise again second time what do you mean second time it already rose in 2019 
you know, it doesn't someone doesn't have to be there for eight years for you to know. I mean, four years you can vote them out, but you let them stay. So there's no second time, it's third time, and you know, fool me once, fool me twice, fool me thrice, oh my days. Just mommy fool <laughs> at this point. Um I don't know. Some of all, you've got a supporter who, I guess, may, it, may, it keeps things balanced. This individual says this burning of broom is done by the by a few PDP agents. Now, why would you say that? I mean, <laughs> of course you would say that. I don't know why would you say that. Of course you would say that. Um, petty things can, you know, it's likely to be done by, you know, APC or PDP people just against one another. But really... Is that sad? I mean, I think there's certain things that are impactful. You know, someone doesn't have to say, I will not vote for you. Do you know what I mean? It's like, someone can say, I will not vote for you. You are this, you are that. But it's more of a signal. Like, do you know how strong it is for someone to... For these people to burn brooms. They are literally... The broom is the identity of the APC. And then you are going through a crowd and they are burning brooms and shouting your direct opponent's... Your direct opponent's name. I mean... I feel like there's insult and then they are literally, I don't even know what to describe it because this is way stronger than somebody telling you, I will not vote for you. You are not competent. You're not this. That's nice. You're just saying statements. But this, no words have to be said. You don't, you don't say too much, but you know. And I feel like, I mean, this is personally, you know, of course it's an attack. I mean, this is even stronger than, you know how like you have different posters and people go and tear the posters off the wall. I mean, that is obviously disrespectful to your party, but this is a different level of, you know, the middle finger to your face. I mean, different level. So I think for the um campaign, whatever, they just need to go and find... They, they need to go and find what they need to do because this, it don't make sense. It don't make sense at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Put what you think about it in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.